Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Clean with Barbie. If you following me from the beginning, probably this kitchen will be familiar to you. I've got a lot of question about if I used to follow up for the families who ask my help and no I don't do that. But in this case, I changed my mind and let me tell you why. When I started this job, I really didn't have any experience with hoarding or with very, very massive mess and dirt. On the first time when I visited this lady, she didn't let me to throw away anything. When she asked my help again, I told her, in this case, you can say no. Now I will start to throw stuff what you don't need it anymore and she was agreed with my experience i was very curious about what can i do with this kitchen right now like if i can make cleaner or more emptier i really wanted to try if you curious too about what is the difference between the two videos i will share the link of my first video when i cleaned this kitchen at the first time the first thing what i did i opened the cabinets and i checked what can i throw and how can i make more space more room for the stuff what she really needed She also have a very bad roaches situation, like she has a lot of roaches in the kitchen and in the bathroom too. I made empty her cabinet, the lowest cabinet, and I put all the cleaning products there. After on the top top cabinet, I started to put together um, the breakfasting like cereals. And on the top shelf, I put some chips, easy to reach and she can see through because it's more organized like before. She keep all the canned food on the other side, so I wanted to see if she has any expired food, then I just can throw away. And I also organized this cabinet. This is kind of like a cooking cabinet. I put the flowers here. Um, I hope I say good flowers. Not the flower, flowers, yes. Okay, so um, beans, soups, pastas. So we can call this like a cooking cabinet. She also had a lot of pun everywhere, like it really doesn't make sense, um, the place where she put. Um, so I found some um, top of the sink cabinet and it was like everywhere. So as you see, this cabinet, it's full with everything and she really doesn't need that. She told me, not I decide to throw them out. She told me to throw them out and I made a very big, big cabinet to put all the pan here. And now they are just together. She also had a lot of dishes everywhere. So first I wanted to clean this countertop. I wanted to collect together because I wanted to see how much uh, dishes I have to do. So first I cleaned down this countertop. I collected all the, the dishes and that helps my job a lot. And I was posting about this before, News 12 made an interview with me and it was interesting about my job. So this is what you can see, how they recording me, why I'm cleaning. 
if you haven't seen the interview with me but you want to see i will share the link in description um i'm trying to save the personality for these people who's asking my help and she didn't want to be um she didn't want to be recorded and she didn't want to to the neighbors know anything about what's going on in her house and the neighbors was very very rude so when they heard some noises they just started to clean outside of their house started to sweep up they left the door open it was like i felt so so bad for the owner I was lucky with this um stove because as you see even if it's burned it's coming off very very easy i was so scared about this is all very hard burn um the problem with with this stove as you see and you could see in my first video it's destroyed so it's it's pieces missing and it's already so scratched um the paint is off so i tried to do my best with this stove I clean out with the scraper as much as possible and after I just used easy off um, degreaser. Someone wrote a comment I should shake um, this spray, this bottle before I'm using and I'm doing guys. So um, let me tell you, I got this from Amazon, it was th three sprays together and all of the three bottles when I'm shaking is just like not working well the spray part so anyway I don't know what's wrong um this is a problem with this bottle but otherwise I really like these products because it's it helps my job a lot but the bottle is not really good so the kitchen is not done yet but I definitely had to sweep up because it was cat poop everywhere, cat litter everywhere, um, food pieces and it was so annoying I was stepping all the time um, so I swept up and I felt much better. yes guys i changed my gloves before i started to do something else i know it touched the floor and the cat poop so i'm not using these gloves anymore i don't know what's about you but when i'm doing dishes my back is start to get pain and burning so bad all the time Unfortunately, she doesn't have any uh, kitchen clothes, so I had to use papers for temporary. It's better than nothing. On this beautiful greasy microwave, I just used Easy Off Degreaser. And because I was um, recording my back again instead of how I'm cleaning the microwave, I just showing you the result. Actually, the real problem is these kitchens and bathrooms are very, very tiny, and sometimes I just don't have uh, room to put on a good space my my camera holder, so I just can't really record very well. But I just wanted to show you I cleaned inside too. From some edge I can see the lines, uh, it happened with this microwave but when I'm coming down from the chair after I see the lines so don't worry guys, um, even if you see now I just left some, some lines um, on the microwave or on some surfaces, I, I'm always cleaning more but I'm not showing every little details all the time.
And now it's time to clean this monster. You can see um, I'm not always using um, a fully clean microfiber clothes and let me tell you why. I just don't like to waste. So I used to wash them out um, while I'm working and then I'm using over and over again. The reason is because I know it's still gonna get dirty so I don't want to use a new one all the time. Um, when I'm done and I'm spraying for example Windex to make shiny the surface, then I'm using a new microfiber clothes. And it really doesn't matter if I'm using um, not a perfectly clean why I'm still cleaning. As I told you, this stove is very old and um, it's it's the paint is missing for, uh, for scratch. So this is the maximum what I could do with this stove. The kitchen is almost done, so I started to wash the cabinets. The supervisor just around to check my job. I hope she like it. The first time when I visited this lady, I didn't clean her bathroom because it wasn't dirty. Let me tell you, it was surprisingly clean, but now it was not really clean. So I just told her I'm going to clean the bathroom too.
The first thing what I did, I removed everything from the bathroom. Because this is a wet area, any little piece of paper is stuck on the floor. So um, when I start to clean and I'm using products and more water, everything is gonna be extremely wet. So I definitely wanted to sweep up and scrape, use a scrape to um, scrape up the dirt, the paper pieces, um, because I know everything is just, after wet, it's gonna hard to clean up. So I decide to sweep up and clean up most of the things from the floor before I start to clean. I definitely hated this um, shelf, so I wanted to make shorter. At the first time, I wanted to um, remove all the the thin pieces, what it's blocking to not fitting to the toilet. But I realized that's not gonna solve the problem, so I made shorter. And I told to the owner um, they can use some nails and put on the wall, and still they can use it, but not. It's not gonna be on the floor because it's not fitting uh, behind the toilet. Now I understand why they couldn't find the screwdriver. For the tile and the bathtub, I use bleach. While the bleach is working, I started to clean up the floor a little bit more better. Now this dirt is dry, so it's easy to clean and easy to sweep up. If I start to use the products and water, everything is gonna be wet and it's not that easy to sweep up or wash up. So this is the reason why I started to clean up before I did anything else. I let to sit and work the bleach enough time so now it's time to scrub. For extra help I use the Barkeeper's Friends uh, powder and Brillo pad. And my favorite part is coming when I'm using the steam cleaner. I just, I think it's so satisfying.
So this is the reason why I said to clean up the floor before I do anything else swept up because I knew I'm gonna use the steam cleaner. It was gonna make everything so wet. So I think it's it's that was the best thing to do. The bathroom is not perfect but it looks so much better and the most important, it's clean. And now it's time to see the result.
If you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.